Good day and how are you all doing? I just want to come and show you all about pinto beans. So many times people say, do you have to soak your pinto beans? Uh, do you have to uh, clean them? Can't you just shake them out and put them directly in the water? Well, I say on my experiences that pinto beans, they don't necessarily have to be soaked overnight, but they do need to be soaked a little bit and the reason why as you can see even with these beans that I'm dealing with the bad beans the beans that are broken up that are not still in the form that they need to be they're gonna float to the top okay they're gonna float up to the top they, these beans are no good okay and uh, just like anything else that comes out of a, fe a field uh, beans can have dirt pockets in them so, if you just open them up and pour them directly into a pack, then it's a possibility that you're going to have some dirt pockets into your pinto beans. Alright? So, this is, just, this is your first step to pinto beans. Clean them by soaking them a little bit, letting the bad beans float to the top, take them out, and proceed. You can tell that's a bad bean. Look at it. Okay, they will float up to the top. The dirt um, falls. Also, you want to rinse them real good after this step. They will float. Just stir them around a little bit. Just like that. And get all those beans and pieces that are no good. They will float to the top. Do you see what they're doing? They're beginning to float up. To the top that, that 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 is no good okay the bean that is no good it's gonna float up it's gonna have a defect in it it's gonna look like it's either almost rotten or something okay that's the first thing you want to do the next step that I'm gonna do is add me some beef broth in here do me some fat back and my seasonings now you can do whatever you want to to your beans you can cook them in beef broth you can cook them in chicken stock, vegetable stock. That's up to you. Next, I add me some fat back. As you, you can see, they're not floating anymore. So I'll go ahead and add some fat back into my beans. And I also add onions. I just go ahead and chop up a few onions. I add onions to my pinto beans. I also add oil to my pinto beans. This is canola oil. Even though you got fat back, you still need oil in your pinto beans. And then I also add beef broth. Beef broth will make your pinto beans very rich. The bean juice rich. Now if you're vegan or anything, or if you just want to use water, you can use water. But I add beef broth. Let's get it open. And let's get it moving. I use beef broth. I want it rich. This is 32 ounces, which is equivalent to about four cups. Now you can add your salt. Whatever other seasonings that you use, I'll be putting a little everything seasoning in mine. And that's how we're going to start these pinto beans off. We're going to watch and make this gravy thick. All right. And then we're going to put it together. Once all your seasonings have been put in, put a top on it. And we're going to let these babies fall. And look at these beans. Look at the juice. That good brown gravy. That's how you want them. With that good old juice. This is your bis this is your pinto bean tutorial. Thank you so much for watching Mama's Comfort Cooking. I love you. Yes, I do.